Hey everyone, welcome back to Actual Faith as we continue our study in the Tabernacle series. Now, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jeremy. It's not too late to catch up. Check out the link below in the description of this video and you can catch up on our Tabernacle series. But in our previous study, we stepped into the holy place, illuminated by the golden lampstand or candlestick. From this, we learned that Jesus is our light and life, guiding us out of darkness into his bright and glorious kingdom. But across from the lampstand lies another important piece of furniture, the table of the bread of presence. Have your Bible ready for another exciting study in the Old Testament. This table held the bread of presence, also known as the showbread. It was a constant reminder of God's provision and covenant with the 12 tribes of Israel. Each Sabbath, priests placed 12 loaves made from fine flour. It symbolized each tribe of Israel, and they placed it on the table before the Lord. These loaves weren't merely decorations. They served as a continual offering before God, being eventually eaten by the priests. It was a powerful symbol of fellowship and God's promise to always provide for His people. The table itself was made of beautiful, dense acacia wood, of pure craftsmanship. It was overlaid with gold. It had a crown or a frame around its top for added elegance. Gold carrying poles were attached through the rings on the corners, allowing priests to transport it with ease whenever God called them to move. In the Old Testament, bread was a powerful metaphor. When Abraham met Melchizedek, they shared bread and wine together, signifying a covenant and fellowship. But bread wasn't just symbolic of provision. It represented life itself. After the Exodus, the Israelites celebrated the Feast of Unleavened Bread, a reminder of their hurried escape from Egypt. Now the showbread, made from finely ground flour, pointed to this idea. Just as grain is crushed and sifted to make flour, Jesus endured the trials and temptations before sacrificing himself for us. Remember, Jesus was born in Bethlehem, which means house of bread. He declared, I am the bread of life in John chapter 6. As believers, we are to metaphorically feed on Christ for our daily strength. Let's read a portion from John's gospel together. Let's look at John chapter 6, beginning in verse 35. And Jesus said unto them, I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never hunger, and he that believeth on me shall never thirst. But I said unto you, that ye also have seen me, and believe not. Jesus here is speaking to a group of people, some Pharisees, others who were following along with Jesus when he fed the 5,000 with just loaves of bread, a few loaves of bread, and a couple fish. So here we see that Jesus is telling them, you have seen the true bread. I am the bread, he's saying, and you've seen me, but you don't believe. He goes on to say this in verse 37, all that the Father giveth me shall come to me, and him that cometh to me I will in no wise cast out. He says, for I came down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will, which hath sent me, that of all which he hath given me, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me. And who sent him? Of course, the Father, God. This is his will, that every one which seeth the Son, that is Christ, the bread of life, and believeth on him, may have everlasting life. And I will raise him up at the last day. The table of showbread ultimately foreshadowed the Last Supper, Jesus' final meal with his disciples. 
If you reference Jeremiah 31 with Matthew 26 and the other Gospels, you would see Jesus as the Passover lamb who offered his body and blood to establish the new covenant. Communion is a fellowship meal with the body of Christ today. It is a reminder of the sacrifice and the unity we share as believers in Christ. Paul said, For we, being many, are one bread and one body, for we are all partakers of that one bread. The table of showbread is a beautiful reminder of God's faithfulness and provision to us. It also points to the ultimate bread of life, Jesus Christ, who offers us eternal life through his shed blood and broken body. He sacrificed himself once for all. In this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent his only begotten son into the world that we might live through him. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Also, if you have more questions about Jesus and his claims to divinity and truth, watch the video linked in the description below titled, What is Truth? And remember, faith is not a blind leap of ignorance into the unknown. Actual faith is trusting and believing the unknown because of the known. Keep the faith.